Hello everybody, welcome back to a another video, and in this video I'm telling you about all the additions, changes and fixes in Minecraft Snapshot 24w3a for Minecraft 1.21 and 1.20.5. So if you like Minecraft videos like this one, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft update videos in the future. And so of course the main new or new change actually is of course to the armadillo in this snapshot. This was already mentioned before on the official Minecraft Twitter account, but we now have a new armadillo texture in the game. And there are some other changes to the armadillo as well, along with changes to the breeze and a new game rule. So let's go over all of these features in this video. Now this video is a live stream at the same time, which is why it hasn't been edited. But it also means that you get to see this as soon as possible. So let's go over all of the different changes, additions and fixes. So this is the third snapshot for Minecraft 1.20.5. And they're bringing updates to the armadillo debris and accessibility improvements. There's also a lot of bug fixes in this snapshot. We'll go through some of the most important ones at the end of this video. And uh, there's the new game rule, which is spawn chunk radius, which we'll also go over. And but first, what we will show, check out is, of course, this new armadillo texture. So before we go over that, of course, we are in a mesa or badlands biome, as it's now called. And that is because the armadillo can now not only spawn in the savanna biome, but also in the badlands biome. So we can see some armadillo here, and they can spawn naturally in this biome. So that is nice, you will be able to find a few more armadillos around your world at least. Um, so we have gathered feedback on the first armadillo snapshot, and the next step in the look of the armadillo, the armadillo shoots, and the wolf armor are now here. So not only the texture of this mob over here has been updated, but also the textures of both the wolf armor and the armadillo scutes have been uh, updated. So there's those as well. But first let's take another look at the armadillo itself. So this is what it now looks like. The main difference is of course that the eyes are no longer on the front of its head, but instead on the sides of its head. So if you look at it straight on, it looks like it doesn't have any eyes. So most people said they would prefer this option, that's why also Mojang went with this option right here. I personally think both looked fine, but this one looks nice as well. And they've also tweaked the entire color of the texture as well, so it's definitely different here. And also the texture when it rolls up into a ball is a little different and has a little different color, so you can see that here as well, what that texture looks like. And of course, yeah, we'll see much more of this guy in future videos as well. But then there's also the changes to both the armadillo skewed and the wolf armor. Especially the wolf armor looks completely different from its previous texture. Um, the armadillo skewed looks quite similar. But let's take a look at the wolf armor on a wolf. So let's grab a wolf and put on the, some wolf armor. So let's grab some bones as well to tame the wolf. So what they mention in the patch notes of this snapshot, which of course I'll leave in the description down below as well is that they've changed uh, the wolf color layer to be more consistent with the new wolf armor. So let's take a look at that. Apparently this color layer is now different. And you can see that indeed that is. I don't think it was this thick before. I think it was just a single layer of red. But the color is now a bit thicker on a wolf as you can see there. And so now if we put some wolf armor on the wolf, it is actually a lot more visible, that color. So that is very nice. And of course you can change the color of the color by using some dye. So if you grab some yellow dye maybe and some lime dye for example, you can see that you can change the color of that color like this. And you can see it very clearly from all angles now, which was not really possible before. When the wolf was wearing the wolf armor. So that is a very nice and welcome change there. Um, as for the texture of the wolf armor here on the wolf, I don't think it looks too different, but of course they've probably changed uh, the color a little bit to be more consistent with the new armadillo color as well. So that is very nice. There is another change to the armadillo as well, and that is to the roll-up behavior. So you can see, of course, if you sprint at an armadillo, or if a hostile mob comes at an armadillo, it rolls up into a ball. Uh, but something different now is that both spiders and cave spiders will run away from armadillos not in a rolled up state. So if you summon in some spiders and cave spiders, they will run away here. So cave spider and spider. Of course, cave spiders would also be able to spawn here in these mine shafts you have in the Badlands biome. But if we summon in a spider here, you will see it runs away quickly from the armadillo and the same thing with the cave spider. So both spiders and cave spiders are now afraid of armadillos. 
And so this m gives another use to the armadillo being able to push away or, well, scare away uh, spiders. And could maybe even be used in different types of forms to more easily move away spiders from a specific point. That could be quite useful. You can also see that the armadillo is not scared by spiders and cave spiders and does not roll up into a ball itself. But of course, if there is another hostile mob nearby, like for example uh, a creeper or a zombie, the armadillo will roll up into a ball. Or, well, not a creeper, just a zombie, I suppose. And there we go. It rolls up into a ball, but now if you spawn in a, a, a spider nearby, it does not run away. So only if the armadillo is not in a ball state will the spider run away. We can see that there very clearly. And so those are the main changes uh, to the armadillo. Then as for other features, uh, the default focus is not always set when entering or exiting any menu while navigating using tabs or arrow keys. Okay, that's just an accessibility feature useful for people who need it. Very nice. Um, then before we get into the new breeze changes, let's take a quick look at the technical changes. So data pack version is 28, resource pack version is 24. Those have both been updated. Uh, custom villager traits can be configured to accept items that have different tags from the expecting item. So this means that if you have an item that has specific tags, like for example a sword with an enchantment or with the unbreakable tag, you can still hand it in to a villager that requests uh, a diamond sword, for example. So that's quite useful. When entities leave or enter the end, the area will arrive in, will now stay loaded for 15 seconds, matching the nether portal behavior. So the end portal and nether portal has been uh, added some consistency there. Uh, they've added transfer packets, cookie packets. I'm not sure what those are. It's to do with servers. And they decreased the default size of spawn chunks and made the value configurable. And this is also where the new game rule comes in. So uh, the size of the spawn chunks changed from a radius of uh, 10 to a radius of 2. So from 19 by 19 entity ticking chunks to just 3 by 3 entity, entity ticking chunks. And this was done to reduce memory usage, loading times and CPU usage. Um, but they've not removed the spawn chunks functionality because of course people still use it. And they've now added a new game rule as well. I'm not sure if it's here in survival mode. We can take a look. The new game rule is called spawn chunk radius. It is. <coughs> And so the spawn chunk radius is set to 2 by default. Don't know if you can see it like this. Yes, it's set to 2 by default. And you can set it to a value anywhere between 0 and 32, where 0 completely disables the spawn chunks, and 10 is equivalent to the previous functionality of the spawn chunks. So you can customize this yourself now in-game, which is always nice. Some more customization for people who need it. Very nice. Um, <coughs> all right, then let's move on. To the experimental changes and that's first to do with villager trading so if a uh, villager wants to buy armor so for example you the villager wants to buy a diamond chest plate it can now ignore durability and can buy damaged armor instead so if you can sell a diamond chest plate for an emerald or for 10 emeralds whatever you can now also sell a almost broken diamond chest plate for the same 10 emeralds so that is really useful and this is of course only in the trade rebalance experiment. So that experiment first has to be added into the full game before we get to see this in either 1.21 or a future update. But that is quite nice. Then we have of course the breeze. The breeze has undergone some changes as well. So not necessarily in the texture or anything like that, but it now will reflect every single projectile. So this means if you use, for example, a bow and arrow on a breeze or a crossbow or a snowballs or any other type of projectile, maybe even eggs or eggs, there we go. And you throw them at a breeze instead of actually uh, hitting the breeze, it will deflect these projectiles. So, well, not the snowball and the egg apparently. So those just break on the breeze, but they don't do any damage or anything like that. But if you use a bow, it actually deflects the arrows and deflects them back at the person who shot it. So there we go, it deflects back slightly. And the same thing of course happens with the crossbow as well. It completely deflects all the arrows it gets shot at and also doesn't take damage from any other projectiles. Um, yeah, so deflected projectiles now deflect in the direction of the shooter. And I just missed. 
Okay. There is definitely still some bugs with this, though. <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to happen. The top of the, the breeze is a bit uh, unstable. I can't get it to happen again, either. No. Okay. Well, that is the main change to the breeze. This should make fi fighting the breeze a little more difficult, hopefully. Because it was a little too easy in the trial chambers for, to just defeat the breeze. Defeat the breeze and it wasn't really a challenge. Hopefully this makes it a little bit more of a challenge in the future. But then there is also quite a few bug fixes in this snapshot. So the oldest bug that has been fixed was villagers don't autofill items if MBT data doesn't match. And the rest of the bug fixes are more recent. Um... If you want to read through all of these different uh, bug fixes, of course, you can take them. Uh, you can read through them. I'll leave the link in the description down below, so you can check those out for yourself. Uh, but there were some different changes with uh, particles not appearing, with different bone meal uh, actions, and there were different textures that were incorrect that has been have been fixed as well. So that is all quite nice, <coughs> and quite a few fixes to different armadillo uh, bugs. Like for example, armadillos were scared of players in spectator mode. That is definitely not supposed to happen. Um, yeah, and if you, yeah, there's quite a few bug fixes actually in this uh, snapshot. Most of them are to do with previous snapshots or uh, experiments. So that is pretty much it for snapshot 24w3a. If you enjoyed this video, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft snapshot videos in the future. So see you all in, in the future videos. Until then, bye bye.